uh, you know, it doesn't give me really, the, I don't really feel I have the right to, to preach about it. But it was this unusual situation where I had what felt like just a few minutes to contemplate my impending death. Um, and so naturally, I think your, your thoughts turned to the people at home. I was at sort of a pretty exciting time in my life. I was about 32 and um, I was getting married the following year. I was literally physically in the process of building a, a house. Um, you know, I had hopes and dreams for the future, children, uh, you know, a life well lived, uh, a rich life well lived, hopefully, and, and it felt as though that was all about to be, to be ripped away from me uh, in, in an instant in this strange and alien environment. Um, I can remember thinking of my mother and father being told, told about this, or my, my fiancé to be, or my fiancé, sorry, indeed, being, being given this information and, and the, the, the devastation that was going to cause. Um, I, I remember even apologising. I think I shouted out in the darkness, uh, you know, I'm so sorry, Morag, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I've, I've put myself in this, in this position, almost taken a selfish decision to, to p pursue this career. Um, and, and I've put myself in the firing line and I'm about to pay the price and, and, and you're about to pay the price, more importantly. Um, I can also remember entreating Duncan to come and save me. I called Duncan's name out a few times, uh, almost begging him to drop out of the sky and save me or drop out of the sea and save me like he, he always did, which made no logical sense. It was going to be Duncan. Uh, Dave was in the water with me, but for some reason I, I thought of him. So, yeah, difficult, difficult emotional moments. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I don't think I'd given up, but it, was, it certainly fell that way. And uh, thankfully, those above me, they hadn't. At no point did I lower myself to think that we weren't going to get him back. Definitely not. There was no way where I was going to go home and explain to Morag that Chris wasn't coming back. 